Our project's idea is called the foot mouse. The idea came about from some special need kids I work with. One of them named Cody has low motor control in his hand and he uses a joystick with his elbow to control a computer. It's not very accurate, doesn't work very well, so the idea we came up with is the foot mouse that you can rest your foot on and keep it on the ground and the other foot you keep down on the ground for stability. We designed it so that this trackball you would use to scroll with your foot and then these two buttons you would use for right and left clicking with your heel. We also designed it so that it would fit the average American foot size so that it was comfortable for everyone. Our product is called Visual Aid, and what it is is a helmet with three distance sensors on each side, on the two sides and on the front. As an object approaches on the left side, the left vibrating motor on your arm will vibrate, same for the right, and when it's in the front, both vibrating motors will go off. The person will also know how close the object is based on the intensity of the vibration. As the object gets closer, the vibration increases. product is the Toasty Toes work boot and we designed a work boot that has a heated pad in the steel toe that'll heat the toe in the winter because in the winter the steel gets very cold so this would be ideal for any working man or someone who's on construction or men who like to wear the boots that would keep their toes warm. Okay basically what we have here is we have a temperature gauge in the steel of this boot and it sends a um, signal to this computer it registers what the temperature is and then if it's too cold it'll send power to this uh, heating element right here. It'll heat the element and it keeps doing self checks back and forth to make sure it stays at the desired temperature and there's also a manual setting where you can control how hot it is by yourself. The project's called a safe monitor and it's a portable EKG system meant for someone who's had a heart attack and gone through cardiac rehab. Uh, my father had a heart had a heart attack a few years ago and his main fear when he got home was something happening while he was working out alone at home. So what this does is it monitors for preset uh, irregular heartbeats that would mean something more serious and it notifies emergency services uh, or pre anything bad happening. So what we did was we created an EKG that would alert someone or emergency services when the person's heart reached a dangerous level or heartbeat. We wanted to sew the electrodes into the users, into a shirt that the user could wear that would hold them tight and monitor their physical activity while they're working out to give them like a sense of security that they're safe still and they'll be, they can get help when they need it. All right, so this is our product. It's called the Adaptolite. Um, the thing that we are trying to fix in this is if a car is driving at you at night, there's a couple of seconds where the headlights might blind you. So our goal here was to try to eradicate that problem. Uh, what we did is we have a light sensor hooked up to our project uh, that'll be placed on the hood of the car facing outwards uh, so it'll detect the headlight coming towards it. Um, and when it does that, it'll send a voltage through our electrochromic film, which is also smart film. It's the main ingredient to our product and our design. Um, what that'll do is it'll dim the headlight, as my associate will demonstrate right now. He's using his phone as a description for the uh, headlight. So you can see how it changes from light, this is it normally, and then it goes to opaque as it is right now.
our product here, the Smart Box, it is designed to make sure to prevent anybody from going outside without knowing whether or not they have mail. And uh, this is how it's going to work. All right, so how it works. Inside the mailbox, we have four infrared sensors that'll detect when you place mail inside. We have a wireless signal that'll send it from the mailbox inside the house and display it on the LCD panel when you have mail. We also have the flag for it. when it's up, it won't tell you that you have mail, so you can send uh, your outgoing mail, and when it's down, it'll work and tell you you have mail.